Hello everyone, my name is Tommy and this is episode 2 of TommyCraft server SMP thing on the Darwolf 20 mod pack. So yeah, episode 2. I have done a lot of work. Yeah, look at all of this stuff and that. I'll get into that really soon. But uh, the thing is, I kind of moved from my old place over here because I needed a lot of space, as you can see for my stuff. So I went over here and I set this up. This is all temporary setup, by the way. As you can see, this is built on leaves, which is a awesome material, but still not the prettiest to build things on. Yeah, that looks kind of derpy. So I want to build a proper a proper thing here, but for that I need uh, wood. And wood I get from a good tree farm. And a good tree farm... Yeah, I need resources for that. And how to get resources is with a automated mining system. And automated mining system happens to be a thing in uh, Thumbcraft. So the arcane boar, that is what we're going to make. But before that, I want to show you the stuff that I've done here. So this is really epic. I can take some iron ore and pump it into the top here. Darn. Well, some fell in. And as you can see, it spits it out here into this chest and you couldn't really see that. Oh, he picked it up. So the hungry chest will just pick up everything that falls on it. Or next to it. So, yeah. Let's take some copper. Throw it in there. And then it will... Boop. 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 It will cook it like that. Which is really awesome. So you can get uh, some additional copper nuggets. So you can get some extra copper. And it does need some... Ignis, which is uh, the thing that's in here, as you can see, Ignis 28. And it requires Arcane Bellows to be more efficient. And uh, Arcane Bellows and all of this stuff is in the Artifice. It's right here. This is the research you need, and then it will say how to build it, and then just back it with a wand. You can see here a wand, and then you need that much stuff, and then it will just work. The Arcane Bellows makes it just faster, so this is how you make it, and you pop it on the sides. You can see a little hole there, so you pop it on there. The Ignis comes from this thing. This will basically cook up everything you put in it, and as you can see those aspects, if I shift uh, over it, you can see those aspects. Those aspects become a liquid here, and just go into these pipes, and then you can put a jar under it underneath it and it will just put it in these jars. So yeah, and it will take some of the, this jar and then it will be even more efficient and faster, especially faster. But yeah, that's that. So this furnace will just output the liquids essentia into these things and those uh, these pipes will extract it from there again. Also I've made a better wand, gold band great one. Go to the thaumaturgy. Oh, I have unlocked a lot here. But I still have to research. Uh, so, here the great wand course made like this. Just two great blocks and some perdito. And it can store up to 50 Vs, which is needed for the infernal furnace. So, that's why I did that. And the gold wand caps. Gold is far superior focusing agent than iron. And one scat with this material takes no penalty. Uh, when you see the two channel Vs, which means that you get uh, no, yeah, normally if you would have a iron cap wand, you would uh, have to pay 105% of the aspects on here to make something. Now it's 95 because I also have this, but without these, it will be 100%, so it is nothing more. Uh, the goggles of revealing, if you have these discount, and the goggles of revealing just make notes visible for you. So that is nice. Goggles of revealing are here. Made like this, almost too hard. So yeah, then we are here. The infusion, you will see 
how that's done in a second. And you make that like this and that like that and that like that. And it will show you how to build it, so that's pretty cool. It will also show you how it should look. So something like this. You should uh, you should place these pedestals uh, like this or something like this so that uh, there is a balance basically so there should be a balance basically yeah yeah something like that there should be a balance anyway so that's why I did it like that that looks balanced so anyway I want to get this thing going so I got all the essentia that I need in these jars over here you can see that some stuff went wrong so I have 36 potential in there, 50 in there, 2 in there and 12 in there wasteful just like this one in there and another one in here no four in there okay anyway pretty wasteful and stuff uh, but I should have everything I need so just I need this in my inventory <laughs> Because sometimes it will destroy the items that are on here and then uh, you need to replace them otherwise something will go wrong. Do that and you can see awesome animation so it's just going to pump some of the stuff. And you do need to watch out things will go wrong pretty quickly. This has a medium risk so watch out. Oh something, oh no. That is still there. I thought it disappeared. Okay, so it's still doing this. Yeah, go on. It's going pretty, pretty smooth right now. This is the first time I'm doing this, so just saying. I also got exactly enough of the uh, of the essentia in these jars. So if something goes wrong it will go terribly wrong because it can pull more essentia basically if something goes wrong it will pull extra essentia okay so it will pull those things pull that okay yeah need that nothing went wrong Darn, we did it. And nothing went wrong here, so that is great. We got the Arcane Boar. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is great news because now we can go automated mining. But not yet. We need to do a few more little things. Because for the Arcane Boar you need something to put it on. So you need some great planks, some iron and a dispenser. Which means that I need to get myself a bow, which is great. Also some more things would be pretty darn nice. I can probably put some of this stuff away. And put this gold in there for now. Just like that. Don't have a lot of inventory space over here. So let me get some more stuff that I need. Also we will need a pickaxe. Okay, I just bought enchanted fabric. Oh, nice! I can make boots of the traveler. Sweet deal. <laughs> so these uh, enchanted or, or these hexagons, basically, if you click on them and you have enough uh, stuff research, I can probably show you somewhere. No, 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 not you. Oh, I think in here. Yeah, this this is a hexagon, and it will say. Uh, you do not have required aspects to purchase this, so you can just purchase this with aspects. And I just accidentally did that, but now I can make Boots of the Traveler. I will do that sometime, sometime really soon. Boots of the Traveler, Boots of the Traveler are also made with that uh, infusion, and yeah, that infusion is just really cool. So I will get this. Oh no, wait! I wanted to say something. That is I also need this one of excavation. And I got all the stuff required, which is great. I will make that right now. I might make two. Because that, that means that I can make some more stuff. So I get two emeralds. Eight of these. I should even have eight 
Yeah. Awesome. Good thing that I got this nether quartz. I thought you never know where it's good for to get some more. And then I took some more and now I'm really happy. So now I can make two. One. Two. That means that I can get my wand and be like F and then equip that. Now I can do that. And that's just really cool. Because it mines pretty it mines pretty quick. Oh it's not very good at doing that. Nice. And I got one left. You need to have this um this uh, one of excavation core in there. Basically if you press F you can uh, select one course and yeah the excavation one will just mine from a distance which is pretty darn cool as you can see. Epic. Yeah I'm happy and really excited because I really thought that stuff would get wrong. If things go wrong there there explosions will occur just like huge forest fires and you being launched up in the air really really high awesome but yeah I will get the resources nice unloaded chunk and then I will be right back okay so first thing I want to pop some of this wheat flour into here that should work yes nice uh, that's not vanilla recipe so I there was a slight chance it wouldn't work. But yeah, I needed some more bread, so I went to the farm. And like that. So the arcane boar base, and then we have this pickaxe, so we should be ready to go. One thing though, there is just that one little thing. And that is. Uh, let's see. Placing a jar of Perdito Essentia near the boar within a blocks will greatly speed up the rate at which it, which it mines, but will consume one point of Perdito per every 16 blocks mined. So I do know that I have some Perdito in here. So I could give it a kickstart with this. Like that. I want to see how can I make Perdito. So let's go in here. Go to per there's Perdito. Cobblestone is a way of making Perdito. That is great because that will mine insane amount of cobblestone of course. The thing is that with cobblestone I will also be hooked up with Saxon as you can see. So it don't doesn't only have Perdito but also Saxon. So what I want to make is I want to also make the void jar. So I need eight vacuous, and you can see that vacuous is flickering, which means that I don't have that. The rest I do have. So I don't have enough vacuous, and vacuous is that an ordo? I'm pretty sure. Nope, vacuous is that in Perdito, of course. So let's create some of that. That was actually quite a lot. I need a void jar. So that's obsidian, water jar and ender pearl. Darn, I need an ender pearl for that. That is not great news. Ender pearl. Yeah. I am pretty sure I don't have that. Hey, it gets night. That is great. I already see enderman. What are the odds? Normally when I need ender pearls, it is like just becoming day. Then I am very sad because I need to wait another entire day. So let's actually mine with that. This I mean. Okay so the enderman should be somewhere over here. And then down there. Okay. Okay I can't do that anymore. My Terra is probably gone. I hear that Enderman. You can also see a thing over here. This will never spawn in Earth, so you know that there would be a cave there. Or there has to be a cave there. Hmm. 
Yeah, Enderman, man. Come at me. No, don't go away. Where is that man? That Ender man. Did he just teleport away from me? I hear him. Don't know where he is. Oh, he's there. Yeah, I killed him. And he didn't drop an ender pearl. Of course he didn't. Okay, let's... Uh, sometimes if you... Or actually, you can always research an aura note and you get some stuff from that. Which is a great way of getting uh, some good stuff. I should head back up. Okay, I'm going to get that ender pearl and then I will be right back. Okay, so I've got the ender pearl. I've got my obsidian somewhere. Should be in here then. Yes, there it is. So obsidian, jar, ender pearl, bond. Right there. A void jar. So that way we can void uh, the other stuff. I'm going to take this temporarily just because otherwise I have to make new now and I don't want to okay like that that should be good I also made some lead because I need that I'll put some of this away and I will need something which means that we can make some of these item ducts. Okay. Then we also need another thingy. We need another hungry hungry chest, which is made with this, I believe. That um that should be a hungry chest. There. And we will need a lever, and we probably need some other stuff too, but I don't think I have glass. No, I do not. Is that really required? Well, we do need a big chest. Probably. Let's make some chests. So one, two, and I should get myself some iron. So I want to make iron chests, and I'm pretty sure I make that like that. And I do not. How do I make... Oh, I, I know, again. Two chests like that. And then that around it makes an iron chest. It means that I need more iron, which I don't have at the moment. So let's pop some iron in, like that. It doesn't use a lot of uh, ignis, so this is a very efficient way of smelting your ores. Or smelting everything. Doesn't really matter. So I will start with two of these iron chests. And that should get, get me going at least. Yeah, I should... Hmm. Yeah, let me get some glass because otherwise this won't work. So I will be right back again. Okay, so let's set something up around here. I should place my arcane bar thingy over here. Arcane bar up top. And then it will spin around and be like that. Uh, I do want this thing to turn around. Okay, so it will face like that. Uh, I need that around there. We can put these two in there. With five speeds plus zero, other properties zero. So, yeah, this is just your basic setup. This is going to take up durability from your diamond pickaxe. So as soon as your diamond pickaxe breaks, this arcing bar will stop boring. Yeah. So, Anyway, let's place the hungry chests down here. It will spit things out like that. Then I want to have some of these. I want to pull out from there. So let's get some of this going. A little thingy around there. 
I don't have a range yet. Wow. That's of course because I didn't start off with ranches. Let's do just a grass and hammer. So three iron and then ingots. Okay, so I'll do that in a second. For now, I want to pump that into there. Then I will have something there. Ooh, dark iron, nice. Dark iron is really hard to find, so if you find some, take it. Doesn't matter what you have to throw away, fit it in your inventory, just take it. Pro tip. So, yeah, I probably want my chests to be just like that, probably. Doesn't really matter that they're like that. Alright, and then I should place two of these. One like that, one like that. And then place one Perdito thing right there. You can see that one in there. And then like that and that. Well, no, I probably want it on the back because I want something else to be right. Although, well, it doesn't really matter. I can do it like that. Okay, so I'm thinking here, guys. So I want my jar of essentia to be there. What I want to do is I want to take my water jar, yes, with a Perdito. I want to place a Perdito label on there. That means that nothing else in Perdito can go in there. The void jar will be there with nothing else in Saxon. Then something... Hmm. Well... Yeah, I need one. I need one more. Where did that other one go? Uh, this way, if something goes wrong, it can just go everywhere, I think. I think. I don't really know. And then I should also get something going like that. So, I want to install a pneumatic servo right there and right there. So here I want to whitelist cobblestone and always enabled and here I want to whitelist something else but I don't have that on me right now. So let's jump out. Okay I can't. Apparently this hungry chest, oh no it doesn't have an, a full hitbox. Hmm. Weird. Okay so then the Perdido shouldn't be in the way I well, it doesn't really matter. The thing is, if I want to redirect my arcane board that way, it will it will basically just destroy this. But I can just replace that sometime. Doesn't really matter. And yeah, so I want to make one trash can, and I want to get some coal, and I want to get myself a wrench. So let's just fly up. Look like that. Let's light this up before things go wrong. Yeah, we've all been there. Creepers. So let's go up. So I've made a hole right here. So it's just pretty close to my base. Okay, so we need one tin and three iron for that. I need one coal, or probably just a few, so I and get myself a little kickstart there and I want a trash can whoa lag what's happening okay there we go trash can so that's three stone and then just okay so one two three that should cook up nice and quick and a chest which is made like this of course knowing your vanilla recipes is always a good thing then do it like that yeah that should be great I can throw that clay on the ground don't need that uh, it was right here I should have everything 
I should. I do not say that I have. So in there, oh yeah, I forgot something. I need another pneumatic servo so that I can whitelist some stuff there because I don't want everything to be able to get in there. Okay, so let's see. I should have two of that, one of that, and then should be fine. No, I should be just fine. Okay, let's go in here. Yes, and place this in there. Be like, yeah, cobblestone can go in here. The thing is, this is closer, so cobblestone will go and try to go in here first before it wants to go in there. And then also dirt, because otherwise these chests will get stuffed up with cobblestone and dirt. We don't want that. And whitelist and redstone disabled, of course. If you enable redstone on high, it needs a, uh, a redstone signal to do that. Also, let's do it like that. Okay, so things. Yes, they got pumped out. Do they get put in there? Yes. If I would do something like this, go in here, whitelist call, and be like disabled, get this, and put call in here. Would call go into that slot? Please work. Yes, it works. Better works. So, yeah, that Perdito is going up. And that Saxum is also going up. Why doesn't that get voided? Oh well, doesn't really matter. This will slowly void, probably. I hope. Okay, we will see that pretty soon. I should get that one extra. I will do that in a second. For now, I want to say try. Epic. Epicity. That's what I'm gonna call it. So yeah, this gets filled up. Which is great. And then it's mining. And I should get a chunk loader over here. I might make that real quick. Diamonds. Do you see them? I see them. I see diamonds. Boar. You have to mine those diamonds. Yes, that's the spirit. So, five white, which means it isn't going to mine these diamonds over here. I'm going to pick that up then. Yeah. Things are going great. This is already filled up, so... More cobblestone should go in there. Yes, nothing is in there. This is filling up like a charm. This is filling up way less quick. This doesn't have anything in it. No, no. Doesn't look like things are stuffed. Which is great. Uh, yeah. This should work perfectly. Yes. I am so happy right now. So, uh, I am going to make a quick, 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 quick little few tweaks. See how hard. Ooh, the diamond pickaxe is going down pretty quickly. Hmm, I know how we can solve this. I do know. There is one pickaxe that won't get damaged by mining. But that is definitely something for the next episode. Next episode, we are going to take a break from Palmcraft I think. We're going to do a little bit of other stuff. Uh, we are going to make some nice tinker tools because these tools are... Yeah, this pickaxe isn't bad, I'm going to say it. It is really not a bad pickaxe. But it is also not great. So I want a better pickaxe. I want a good sword, not iron one. And I want more resources.
I'm so happy right now. I hope this thing finds some coal because otherwise this is going to run out of course. Here is some more coal. This is almost done already with mining. Yeah, I'm going to look up how I can increase the width because I would like to get some more width from this. But yeah, this was today's episode. We have done maybe not a lot, but it was it was fun. It was a lot of fun. I'm so happy, you know. I am so ridiculously happy. So yeah, this was today's episode. Uh, I think it is really short. So sorry for that if it really is really short. But yeah, I am sorry. I am really sorry, okay? So I will see you in the next episode where we're going to do all of that awesome stuff. And then I wish you all a great day.